IoT is enabling innovation, new experiences, and evolved business models. But does the risk that comes with IoT outweigh the benefit? Healthcare in particular has patient lives at stake. The good news is Extreme has a simple solution to put the control back into the hands of an organization with Defender. Defender protects against the vulnerabilities IoT devices pose by isolating and enforcing policy in a secure network segment. In this demo, you'll see the before and after of an attempted hack to access the mock hospital network using an EKG machine as the point of entry. All right, so I'm all hooked up. We got my vitals showing here. Do I look healthy? At the moment, I'm yes. I'm alive. Yes, you are. Okay, so we're good. Um, now, what are we gonna do? So what we're gonna do as part of this demonstration is access a backdoor hack We've, we've put in the application here that's doing the patient monitoring and part of that access gives us the ability to be able to flatline the sensors so this is illustrating taking advantage of a vulnerability in a medical device so I've got the the, the patient monitoring device connected directly into the network okay just, just without any protection so it's connected to the network how most devices normally are connected into the network what I've got, Erica, is a hacker's laptop which is going to access this medical device through the network. So both are directly connected. The hacker's laptop is on another part of the network, at the back of the network. Okay. I've accessed a backdoor menu and I'm going to flatline the sensor readings on the device. All right. And what you'll see now yeah, is that I've, I've taken advantage of a vulnerability in there and I've been able to modify the yep. results that are shown on this patient monitoring device. I see I'm flatlining. Slowly but surely. There you yep. go. So they'll all go straight. And so you know, that's a pretty obvious example, but it is one that has existed. Um, problems like this have existed on medical devices in the real world. Got so it. just as you saw, I have to restore um, the sensor readings back to normal. And now we're going to protect the device and re attempt to hack into that medical device. Okay, let's see. Okay. So I take. The Defender adapter, it is already connected into the Extreme Cloud Appliance with a Defender application. So I'm going to remove the medical device from directly being connected to the network. And so I'll plug that into the Defender adapter. So now that medical device is in line behind the Defender adapter and connected into the network. Now when I've done that, what I do, if I just sort of refresh this um, screen here showing the protected devices list within the Defender application. I now see that I've got a new device here uh, and the AMBER status basically says that I've detected the device but my default policy is deny all. So the device is connected to the adapter but it is not communicating anywhere and that's important. It's important to detect it and then to determine what policy we're going to apply to the device. The premise of the Defender for IoT solution is that we use a whitelist model. Now we can do the inverse of that, but with the whitelist model, particularly for a device other than a, you know, as opposed to a user, a device, an IoT device typically only wants to talk to a constrained set of hosts or backend application servers. And so by defining just the list of exactly where it talks to, including not to other devices maybe in the same domain, like east-west traffic, right. but by Constraining the con communications, it means that we're only allowing that to talk to the places that it needs to and we're blocking everything else. And that's how we protect the device. I can either click on the serial number of the identified device where that medical device is connected to or I can select it here next to the AMBER status and then select the, the group type for that. Now this is where the IT administrators have already you know, pre-designed or created the actual list of rules or policies right. that they want to apply to the device type. Mm -hmm. And in our case, we're going to select the ECG Pi group. Okay. It's my uh, electrocardiogram um, device, the patient monitoring device that I've got running on this Raspberry Pi kit. Right. And I'm going to select that as the group. And I've got a policy associated with that, a set of rules for that device. Now as we onboard that device, you'll see the status go green right. and then we will look at the results of or what, or we can have a look at what policy is being applied to that device. And one cool thing I'm noticing here is that you could really, an IT administrator could set up the names of the policy groups 
to That's match right. the function that the medical administrators would recognize if they wanted to easily apply a group policy to a medical device on the hospital floor, for example. Well, that's right. So if you look, and, and just exactly that, um, if you look at the group policy, for example, all, all the ECG machines in one group, if we click on that policy in the list, we can see what devices have been added to that group. So as we select the policy, we're doing a Mac-based authentication of that device. So mm -hmm. the Ethernet you know, interface on that device is being added to that group. And we can see gotcha. what role, uh, the role is the, so we can have a grouping of devices mm -hmm. and then we can apply a set of policies or rules where that device is allowed to communicate to. So if I go to the hacking machine now and I'll try and flatline your sensors. Okay. I'm just in, trying to enter the back door now. In fact, I can't actually I can now no longer actually talk to the medical device. The rules that I've got in place now is, is totally protecting the device and not allowing me to gain access to that vulnerability. Powerful demonstration. This offers a very easy solution for medical field, for manufacturing environments, retail environments, any industry that's leveraging IoT devices for innovation in their own business models can now easily protect against the vulnerabilities that may be exploited with IoT. That's right. Basically anything with an Ethernet port, Erica. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you so much for the demonstration. I appreciate you coming to talk to us about Thanks, it. Thanks, Erica.